When you build a house, you need a foundation post. When you're building a home for the mind, you need a foundation post as well. It's your intention to stay right here. Try to maintain that intention each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. Don't let it wobble, and don't cut it down. All too often we create one intention to stay with the breath, and pretty soon another intention comes in and takes over. The first intention has been knocked down, and so it's hard to build a home for the mind that way. You've got to make sure the intention stays firm. So this is why we develop mindfulness, to remember, keep in mind our original intention, and then alertness to make sure that it stays. And if we find that it's wobbling, we do our best to shore it up. That's ardency. These are the three qualities we need to build this home for the mind. Then once it's built, we can make it comfortable. We can make it a place where we rest and where we do our work. It's not the case that you simply rest in concentration and then leave concentration. You try to keep your attention here. Understand what's going on. If you see anything that comes in to destroy the concentration, well, think of it. It's in, in constant, stressful, it's not self. You can let it go. That way you're doing work at home. So you can have a comfortable place to stay as you do your work. That's the ideal home for the mind. But make sure it has that solid foundation, that solid foundation post. Because otherwise everything collapses and you don't have much. And you're out exposed to the elements. So set this intention firmly and keep it firm. That way you have a safe place for the mind to stay. Think about the world outside right now, all kinds of trouble is happening. And if the mind is unprotected, it can get into trouble too. So you provide this protection for the mind. You provide it with comfort, you provide it with a place where it can do its work. All on top of the foundation that you've established. And that's where all the elements of the path come together. <laughs>